We begin with LT Skills virus song, ODG. Yes, that is finally going to get an official music video. Now, as your trusted go-to platform for the latest within the showbiz space, Entertainment News on Channels Television brings you some exclusive behind-the-scenes recording from what is currently the most anticipated music video. Do enjoy. LT Skills ODG, one of the most used songs on TikTok videos and other fun videos right now, is about to get an official music video. The song, already known for its high energy and psychedelic vibes, already formed the dance theme in the minds of music lovers, and that is what is eventually created. <laughs> to prepare, the fast rising singer gets a new punk makeover, including tattoos and later motorbikes. <laughs> Ah, I had to learn oh. <laughs> because it wasn't like I learned a lot, just the basic and well, we just, we just tried. I, I, won't, I don't want to start speaking plenty English, you know that Steve, this guy don't talk too much, but the thing is I just had to learn the basic and big shout out to all the bike men and just had to do this thing, shoot this video. The idea is to make it different from every other video out there and then just have fun with it. So big shout out to everybody who actually supported the boy. Directed by the Eclectic Max, the music video will receive cameo appearance from two prominent dancers from the famed Ugandan dance group, Ghetto Kids. The presence got the locals really excited. <laughs> Funny enough, um, we saw them dancing to a particular, um, they were vibing to a particular sound on their own. And my team was like, yo, this song, this dance can blend to the song. So they put, they put the song, they laid the song on it. And then it, it went viral in Nigeria. So then my team then reached out to them and like, can you guys dance to this song? Before we actually reached out to them, they even told us when they got to Nigeria that at the time they saw that video, the initial one they were dancing to something else, but we laid our song on. They said they went to download the song immediately. All the kids were dancing. And I'm, I'm, I'm really sad that not all of them can come, but we actually have more work to do. And they started dancing to the song. And then, luckily, they, they said that luckily my team reached out to them and they did the song. They vibe to it, and the entire world is vibing to ODG, is vibing to Ghetto Kids. And they are, and I mean, their platform is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I mean, we saw that this thing was going bigger than we expected. We, than we thought, rather, um, we wished wish that we'd like you guys to come to Nigeria. And they're like, yo, let's do this. And that's, that, that was how we did it. We reached out to them. They came down to Nigeria. They've been having fun since they came down to Nigeria. And uh, big, big shout out to Ghetto Kids, TFUG. Um, they, they are offerings actually. And uh, we're trying to see how we can actually help the platform. And I also love the fact that they're using art, which is dance, in uh, the, the, the part of art, which is dance, to actually make people happy. You understand? So, and I, I wish them good luck. I wish them success. And we'll also be part of the success. And so we can do for them also. <laughs> The producer, Eternal Africa, confesses that the track was deliberately created to rival the also viral song Ameno, originally sang by European group Era, led by Eric Levi. <laughs> The first thought that came to my head was there's a popular song called Dorime in the market. I said, okay, let's do something that would, you know, compete with it or displace it. So I had to make this track and I'm glad it's actually getting the attention it needed. LT is such an amazing, talented artist. He has his own ideas, but he listens. So I'm glad he was able to um, allow me express the production um, through him and to produce a good work. So LT, we recorded, okay, the song was already done and LT came on it, he jumped on it and it was amazing. And I'm glad we did it. I'm glad it was the best choice for the song, yeah. <laughs>
industry is growing. I would, I would encourage and indulge our government to actually support the music industry more than they already are, because they are supporting, but more than they already are, because um, the industry is getting bigger and bigger. We're representing Nigeria everywhere in the world, okay? We are bagging our words. We are we're making a landmark everywhere in the world, okay? When, we, when you hear certain artists right now, the names of the likes of Whiskey, Bonoboy, David Doe, even Fireboy right now is hot everywhere, okay? And else is coming, we're hot everywhere also. So um, we're actually doing our best to actually put the mark that this is, these are Nigerians, this is Afrobeat, this is our sound, and we are proud of our own sound. So the government should actually do more, okay? And when, when it comes to um, talking about this whole, um, not, not being able to shoot in environments because of uh, harassment and all, I think in as much as the government are going to do what they can, you cannot actually use brute force because people actually have their own right to their own opinion and how they react also, or how they act rather, okay? We can only just try to control that they don't overdo things, okay, but you know, with fame also comes responsibilities, and also with fame also comes an expectation, so I just feel like it's part of the movement, it's part of the, it's, 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 part, it's part of the movement, and uh, I'm not, I'm not expecting more or less, I'm just having fun, and I'm, this was expected also, what happened today, and more and more to come, uh, but I just like, feel like if the government should involve themselves more, it will be more controlled than it is right now. The official video is expected to drop later this month.